Good morning. So today we're washing kegs, and we don't have a keg washer, and uh, we're having to cherry rig this. So uh, here's a little instructional video and how we wash our kegs down here. All right, uh, sorry for the knocking noise upstairs. We're cutting some concrete, so. Anyway, here we got our little manifold. It's very, very simple. We have a T here, a T here, and a couple, uh, I've got a valve, another valve right here. We have our CO2 tank. And the way we have this set up is that we have hot water coming in from our kettle. We've actually filled that up and heated it to 190 degrees. Uh, I think 180 degrees would be just fine. And then we have our mash tun over there, which has our caustic. And uh, the caustic is that really nasty stuff that will basically melt your fingers. But it, we wash the cakes with uh, our, our caustic. So we'll use both pumps. We got a pump there, pump there. We have our little panel over there that we'll turn them on and off. But basically, uh, the uh, uh, we'll put we'll put the we'll do a hot water rinse first. Then we'll do uh, and excavate anything that's in the kegs over here. And then we'll run uh, hot caustic through it. Then we'll, uh, and, and each time that we want to purge the, the water or the caustic from the keg, we'll use the CO2 over here. And then once it's all nice and clean, and we'll do a double rinse of the hot water um, to get all the, you know, the uh, caustic or any uh, uh, residual, um, nastiness if you will out of the keg and then we'll go ahead and pressure it up with co2 but that's kind of how uh, we do it here you can see uh, Hilberto he's uh, washing the kegs with uh, PBW right now so we want to wash all the kegs uh, thoroughly before we actually start cleaning them and then uh, we're gonna start going here in just a minute okay so Hilberto is gonna wash this keg here and uh, we just put our sinky on this is a Micromatic uh, Sinky with valves on it. It's really nice, it's kind of similar to the ones that you see in your walk-in cooler or your little kegerator. However, this has uh, valves to turn on and off. We use these for filling kegs and for washing and you know, doing a whole bunch of different things. They're really nice, they're expensive, but they're really nice. So um, go ahead and uh, tap the keg, and then we're gonna flip it upside down. And we want to put it in between the two kegs there. There we go. Let's, let's try to get this, keg, this hose out of the way. All right, so why don't you go ahead and open the valve for the red hose so that we can let any excess pressure out. There we go. Can you... There we go. So that's the old pressure. Any old beer comes out. And you can go ahead and open up the, uh, the other valve. Like both it? No, keep them both open. So both valves are now open. Okay. Okay, both hoses are open. Yeah. All right. So now what's the next stop, or next step? So we're going to put hot water in. Okay. So we know that this is uh, connected to our kettle so open up that valve First open it, then. Uh, yeah you can turn on the pump if you want there we go yeah there go ahead now open the valve the open there we go and then as soon as you start seeing water come out here there we go it's starting to come out let it run for just a couple more seconds and this is about 185 190 degree water go ahead and turn it off Turn that off, and then what we're going to do is, when you open up the CO2, and we're going to purge the rest of the water out. Put my foot on here because sometimes when you put the CO2 on it, it tends to want to fly away like a snake. And there we go. All right, go ahead and turn that off. All right, now we're going to do the caustic, salsa caustica here in, in Mexico. Turn that on. Go ahead and uh, open that up. Now, we don't have much of a reservoir of the caustic, so what I'm doing, and this is probably the poor man version, is I'm recollecting it and putting it back into the, uh, the mash tube, okay? 
So I think that's probably good. Go ahead and uh, turn that off. You just turn the valve off. All right, and then let, let it go for a second here. It's got a little bit of pressure built in. When it starts to get a little low, we'll go ahead and turn on that CO2. Go ahead and give it a little squirt there. Okay, stop. There we go. I'm gonna fly out here. So be very careful with this caustic. It's, you know, 185 degrees and I probably should be wearing protective gloves and, and eyewear. Go ahead and give it a little, another little, just a tiny, there we go. There we go. We're almost, I mean, we actually put quite a bit of caustic in there. There we go. Go ahead and get this turned off. All right, we'll go ahead and put this in there. Now go ahead and take that bucket and reclaim it. This is really the poor man's version. We don't have a keg washer. So we're doing the best we can. We actually had about 300 liters of water in here. So we end up using a little bit more water than we do the caustic. So go ahead and do another, another round, uh, another rinse of water. Open the valve up. All right. We'll see it. Uh, there it goes. Here comes the water. All right. We don't need much. So go ahead and turn that off. And go ahead and purge it again with the CO2. I'm going to wait till all the water comes out now and uh, the CO2 expels it all. Pumps work pretty good. Put a lot of water in there real quick. Let me go ahead and stop that off. And now we're going to do a secondary rinse. Go ahead and do another little rinse of water. There we go. And to be honest with you, that's probably good. Go ahead and stop it. You can see the water's coming out. That's enough to get down the, the, the top of the keg and the walls. And if you touch it, that's hotter, hotter than hell. Go ahead and put the CO2. Alright, we're gonna get all the water out of there. Alright, almost. Okay, we're just about. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead and stop it. Now let's go ahead and turn this uh, right side up. give it another little squirt. I like to give it another squirt of CO2. Yeah, we're good. Nothing's coming out. All right. So let's go ahead and close these up. Actually, just this one. There we go, because now we're going to pressurize the tank. Go ahead and turn the CO2 on. All right, so what we're doing is we're pressurizing the tank up to 10 PSI. We have our valve set. It's starting to come up right now. And when it gets to about 10 or 11, we'll go ahead and shut off that uh, CO2. And then we'll put some sanitizer on the top. Now, we don't have any cake caps. I ordered some from Amazon, but the wrong type of caps came. And so uh, we're just uh, putting sanitizer on them and then putting some like saran wrap on top of it. But uh, that's it in a nutshell. That's how we do our uh, keg sanitizing down here. Like I said, uh, in a perfect world, you'd have a keg washing machine, maybe buy a manifold. Uh, but this is what we got. We're able to make it work. Uh, be careful with the caustic. That stuff's nasty shit, and it'll melt your fingers and get in your eye and make you go blind. So make sure you. Uh, extreme caution with it but uh, this takes a little bit of time it's better it's, it's quicker than doing one keg at a time and changing valves and hoses and everything so it took us what took me about 20 minutes 30 minutes to connect uh, the manifold and the hoses and everything then this morning we heated up the tanks that took about 25 minutes 30 minutes to heat those up so and we have six kegs again so it's worth it for the day right now but if you're getting into like 30, 40 kegs, 50 kegs that you need, you need a, you need a table. But anyway, this just shows that if we can do it, you can do it.